9%. Thousands of troops are in Southern California tonight taking part in an international exercise known as Dawn Blitz, with much of it involving amphibious landings. But as 10 News military reporter Bob Lawrence shows us, there was also something seldom seen at Camp Pendleton, tanks. You're looking at the business end of a Marine M1A1 tank. For many of the Canadian troops who are at Camp Pendleton for Dawn Blitz, it's their first look at the beast. Yes, yes, very big, very big, a lot of firepower. Seen here test firing in Afghanistan, they're a game changer in a combat zone. Both French, Canadian and New Zealand troops are being given an introduction. When you start working with us, hey, we attract a lot of bullets an introduction that included climbing on and inside. But the goal is to learn how to work with them. In this makeshift combat town, the international troops are there to secure it. I'm gonna need you guys to push into here. With backup from Marine tank crews. Though coalition troops were in Afghanistan together, they didn't really work with one another. And that's what this exercise is all about. Everyone still has their own little area of operations and we take care of our area. But sometimes you have to work together. And that, in a nutshell, is Don Blitz. Here, Japanese ground forces work with Marines on patrol tactics on San Clemente Island. And Marines, in turn, land an MB-22 Osprey on a Japanese ship. Canadian forces seen here take part in room clearing exercises. The point being, start building that relationship with the NATO forces as well as other countries around the world so we can say, hey, this is what we have, this is what you guys have, let's start working together. The approach is simple, crawl, walk, then run. This scenario will get more intense as the exercise continues. Bob Lawrence, 10 News, Camp Pendleton. And a massive amphibious landing at Pendleton's Red Beach is also planned next week as part of this exercise. Okay, I'm Dan Haggerty here in the Live Center. You're taking a look at live pictures from the San Francisco Bay where apparently someone has drove their vehicle into the water. This is near Marina Green, if you're familiar at all with that area. It's a park area, very popular for the views of the Golden Gate Bridge. You can see rescuers on scene. This is a shot of the shore, of course, with a lot of uh, onlookers there. You can see some firefighters as well. We haven't seen a vehicle or a car. We don't know if anyone was inside. We're going to continue to monitor these live pictures out of San Francisco. For now, that's the latest in the Live Center. Let's go back to the desk. San Diego police are asking...